hey guys welcome to another episode of the hyperlink where we get the most up-to-date star citizen news as they come all right if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and like before we move forward i'd like to give a shout out to my patreons and channel members all right let's get right into it so uh this week we got the roadmap roundup for september 14th which is today and they first started off with alpha 318 to release uh, alpha 318 to the ptu this month which is september we will start with evil cardi and expand to more players uh soon after we are eager to get persistent entity streaming in your hands as quickly as possible and the more times we have with all of you hammering on this new behemoth of a technology the better as communicated in the last letter from the chairman we expect pes to remain in ptu for two to three months for robust testing our current goal is to release Alpha 318 to the live servers the first half of November ahead of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. So now that's really good. That's that's really that's really good. I hope they really they pull it off. Um, that would be awesome to get, actually get it uh, in the live servers. But I, I expect that there probably will be delays. But it's it's also good that they're aiming for that. This means that uh, the 318 patch will now be uh, included in the content related to IAE which you will notice the detailed breakdown below. As you know, PES and subsequent technology server meshing will change the core of Star Citizen forever and provide a giant leap forward in realizing the vision of what our shared universe is meant to be. It is no surprise that we had an abnormal cadence this year. We are appreciative of all your support to push through these major milestones. Now this is exciting this is i'm finally i'm glad that they're finally talking about 318 it's it's very highly anticipated a lot of people are waiting for it i can't wait to get my hands on it and uh they were quiet for quite some time and i'm glad that they're now giving us more information as we approach um citizen con and as we approach uh iae as well so this is really good news that they actually still strive to have this thing out this year um november specifically as a live date that's awesome so they also made some changes in the release field the drake corsair is set to release for 318 uh to be in game so that's going to be awesome the drake corsair a lot of people are waiting for this ship i can't wait to actually see this myself it's going to be the for those that are new it's going to be the competitor to the constellation or the msr um and it's 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 going to be a ship to be reckoned with man so uh, can't wait to get my hands on it as well so after further review uh these deliverables will require additional tasks um that are currently being scoped out and scheduled therefore we are removing the two cards from release view until the release timing is reassessed um so now they're they're talking about the new interdiction scenarios and environmental space missions so they're gonna put that on hold uh, and reassess to see if it could actually still make it in 318. They also made some changes to the progress tracker as well. Um, the file of deliverables uh, previously removed is returning to the progress tracker with this published. The Apoa uh, Santok Yai. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm, I, I, I know I butchered that. I know you guys are gonna let me know uh, how to pronounce it. Uh, put it in the comments down below how to pronounce it. But that's gonna be also um coming for q q2 maybe by q2 um next year maybe we should be seeing that ship um after assessing the team and the vehicles being worked on squadron 42 taking a high priority the following vehicles are being removed from the progress tracker temporarily until resources are reallocated so that's the rsi apollo and the tumbro ranger okay um, so they also mentioned lastly is additional focus on the USPU is being placed on freight elevator deliverables for hangars and cargo. This is a prerequisite for hangars to persist. Therefore, we are removing future work for the following deliverable temporarily as this work is being completed. And that's the persistent hangars. Um, maybe this may not come with the initial patch of 318, but probably will come in a uh, um a subsequent patch as well all right you guys let me know your thoughts on this down below i will see you on the next one